everybody, uh, and welcome to this uh, cast of another Rebel Challengers Cup game. This is the Smart Models versus the uh, Kingslayers. Uh, pretty sure they're in inducements already, so let's just take a quick look at the teams. Take a quick look at the teams. Eldar up first with his Chorf team, Smart Models. Uh, looking very good here. He does have a couple of unfortunate perms, but they're on perhaps some of the least important pieces, really. Um, he does have the uh, Claw Mighty Blow piling on. He has the Claw Mighty Blow piling on uh, there. He has some good developed chores. It is very good looking. And, of course, Ball Carrier uh, thingy. Uh, next, Team Kingslayer. There we go. Underworld Denizens. This is Spartacus and his Underworld team. Wow, that is one hell of a saving blitzer. It is Agi4, which is interesting, but it has Claw, Mighty Blow, Tackle, no piling on. It has a couple of Skaven Throwers, both looking quite nice, and a Claw Troll, even though it is uh, movement busted there. That's unfortunate. I think the game has technically started, and by the way, uh, if anyone wants to co-cast, be my guest. Uh, because we're in dire need of co-casters in general. Do I not have sound on? I think I might have accidentally turned the sound off. Hold up. We'll fix that. And the game has indeed started. I'll be honest, this is the first time I've actually streamed properly, so the sound levels might be way off. Should have done a test stream. Settings, sounds, save, um, well, there we go, let's take, yeah, this is a good view. Do tell me if the sound levels are off, if either the game is too high, if I'm too high, you know. So, looks like the... Um, Underworld team is perhaps setting up in defense, yes, so it will be Chorfs going on offense, so we'll uh, switch view here, so they're attacking upwards. Of course, not a fantastic matchup for the Underworld here. Um, not that Chorfs is really a good matchup for anyone, but it's especially bad when you're sort of reliant on part of your team having a dodge. In terms of inducements, we see a wizard uh, and a babe for the underworld. The uh, the chorves have plus one fame. In terms of a bench, there is a two-man bench for the chorves. Brilliant coaching, that's another reroll for the uh, Chorfs. Probably going to re reroll some hits with that. Two uh, on the bench for the Chorfs, and then four for the Underworld. I don't doubt they'll need it. Also, Bomber Dribble Snot makes an appearance. There is a Nuffles alt Altar, so uh, he was probably pretty cheap. Three dice fails, but the uh, following two die works, and it's just a stun. Oh, and an injury there. Mighty Blow and uh, Stunty both doing a thing. Another stun there. And the KO on a uh, bomber dribble snot. If 
finally deciding to pick up the ball. And sure hands is a good skill. Quite a poor first turn for the Underworld here. They lost their inducements and they are down two players. Well, this Chorf blocker there, Naomi, is pretty exposed. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a, uh, a blitz on him with uh, one of the Underworld's claw pieces. Perhaps not, bringing in an assist there, so uh, he'll hit the guard claw instead. Otherwise that's really just sens uh, insensible basing and nothing else. Just throw a quick PM in the uh, broadcast channel uh, to see if I can get a co-caster on. There we go, perhaps someone hears my pleas for help. Uh, there was a blitz, but it was only a push. I'm thinking the Underworld are mostly playing to survive after being uh, a few men down already. Perhaps trying to cause some damage to the Chorfs and the... Uh, I mean, the wizard might do something. I'm surprised he actually decided to carry on the um, carry piece with the wizard in play. Uh, wouldn't have been shocked to see him uh, carry on the uh, the rookie hobgoblin instead. Oh, looks like we might get T self on the stream here in just a second. Just moving up to the uh, left hand side of the field, that's where uh, the least underworld players are, so... There was a bullet that I missed, but it was a push, so... It was just a push. Not too much action going on here. He uh, sort of screened for his more important places with players with this hobgoblin. But, um. Um, he can still hit this, uh, this bull centaur with the troll if he so wishes. Looks like the Underworld are really just uh, trying to perhaps herd him closer to the sideline, not really putting up any uh, solid defenses to stop him from uh, continuing his march forward. Might have a blitz, but doesn't get anything for it. Hello, and I have just about found my way into the game. Hello, hello, T-Self. 
so where are we at? Well, we're at the Underworld's turn 2, about to be the uh, Chorus's turn 3. Turn 1 saw the removal of Bomber Drivel Snot and a uh, Underworld Goblin. Oh, is that a self-inflicted bomb casualty? No, it was not. Oh. That was a, um, I think it was a blitz. bowl that called it, yeah, blitz. Okay. Unfortunate. I always love when they, they bomb themselves to death. Oh, it's <laughs> classic, isn't it? But yeah, um, I mean, not too many knockdowns other than on the first uh, LOS turn. And the few that have managed to knock down haven't really done any damage, so. Oh, this is a scary Torf team. It is, it is. Eldor has been. Is that uh... Five Claw? Wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. One, two, three. Yeah, it's Five Claw. Luckily, though, uh, not all of those have Mighty Blow, but still. But still. And I guess he has, has to feel a little bit good that he's armor 7. Right. I uh, recapped Eldar's division this season. Um, his team didn't, didn't used to be this scary, I'll be honest. Yeah, I think I think uh, the Nuffle Gods are trying to make up for the uh, loss of Bleeding Hippie. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Him re-rolling this season. Yep. Many sighs of uh, uh, I don't know, happiness were had. I'm sure uh, plenty of people were happy they didn't have to face him this uh, season in the uh, either playoffs or uh, Challengers Cup. Happy that there's no more happy. <laughs> So, looks like he's shifting over to the right-hand side again. A little bit of a, maybe, overreach in terms of the cage distance. Did have to have those short stubby legs GFI to not even finish a cage, but um, yeah, probably too far away from the underworld to really matter. Hmm. I don't think they'll be able to do a whole lot, especially when one of their strength 3 players gets KO'd. This is a very good one too, uh, Wrestle Dodge. Probably could have done some work. Yeah, especially with the wizard. I mean... Does have a wizard. Interesting how his uh, best retrieval is his blitzer, really, with that AG4. Yeah. Very, very high SPP Blitzer. Yes. It's it's sort of odd one as well, because it has guard, but also AV7. It's just galaxy brain strats for facing claw. <laughs> right. I don't think it's nailed. No, it's not. Although, uh, Eldar does have a movement 3 chorf and a niggled chorf, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So they're not pristine. You tend to you tend to see Chaos Dwarf blockers hold a lot of injuries just because there aren't too many ones that are instant fires. Hmm. And they're slightly hard to build up. Yeah. Well, let's say mark on Veronica. Blitzing the niggle here is a good idea, but he doesn't get a foul. Hasn't been getting very many of those. Guessing he's dodging out his thrower. Though that's without dodge, so... Oh no, he's basing more. Taking the hit with a thrower instead. Yeah, you can make it a two die, so it's mm. not a bad hit. It's a good idea. AV9 can break. Armor 9 thick skull, but you know. <laughs> well, it would break. Get Kaz. Random hits. Would break if he would actually roll a pow.
doing a good job keeping his super important blitzer at the back protected. Well, he's very protected, but he isn't doing very much there, is he? Ooh, Dauntless into double skulls. Into double pushes. That was almost scary. Of all the players to double skull onto, I don't think the Mighty Blow Claw troll is the ideal one. Yeah, would try to avoid double sculling against that. So it looks like this turn, the uh, cage won't really have a forward presence protecting in front of it. Nope, unless he decides to put some, uh, some bull centaurs there. No, bull centaurs in base contact with a, a goblin doesn't actually seem bad. Doubt it. It's going to deny the assist on this goblin so that he can't just hit down the guard either. Right. And uh, with this many people down, I don't think uh, the Underworld really have the presence here to uh, hit back. Troll might do something, but he can now hit the uh, guard chorf there with his thrower. Hit the guard chorf, blitz the other guard claw one. Maybe. Maybe even blitz the uh, Palmer. Yeah, if you follow, follow up. up. With the, uh, you know. Hey, Luke. I only just set up this uh, stream, so I don't even have any notifications for, you know, follows or... Could get a blitz on one of these bull centaurs with claw mighty blow. Wouldn't be a horrible idea. Those are some valuable players. Ooh, two assists. He's gonna be able to walk this uh, line rat. Ooh, I was gonna thought. I thought he was gonna follow there to walk it off the uh, the bull centaur. Maybe. It does open up the blitz chance though by not following. Mm. Or actually, yeah. I'm gonna blitz down the bull centaur, and continuing to not find pals. <laughs> Classic. Thank you very much, Steak Middens, with the uh, rating party of 36. This is the beginning, well, it's not even the beginning anymore, is it? It's been going quite quickly, the, um, the Challenger's Cup game. It is uh, Kingslayers versus Smart Models. Seen some removals on the uh, Underworld team, and uh, none on the Chorf team. Can imagine he's trying to kill the Chorf, but he hasn't really gotten any knockdowns. Well, there they are. The only unfortunate thing here is the Dauntless is still basing your troll. It's a bit scary. It does have claw palm. You can just stand those chorfs up and then... Free hits. Rerolls Dauntless. Rerolls. Gets double pushes for his troubles. Yeah, and that's another reroll gone. Yeah. They get one from kickoffs, though. And I mean. The Chorus really aren't making too much progress up the pitch right now. Sneaky Hobgoblin trying to get around the back. Scoring threat. Yep. But I guess more importantly than the scoring threat, he's kind of just going to be part of maybe a forward's cage on the following turn. Try to push up this left-hand side of the pitch. Yeah, that's... Uh, looks like that's what he's trying to do here. Moving some more players there. It's a little scary. I, I think he does need that... The one good thing about sending that hobgoblin up early 
is that he knows eventually he's going to have to leave behind this guard claw movement three blocker because yeah. he's just so slow. Movement there actually being quite crippling. Finally getting a power with his uh, claw manager piling on. Stun. We see piling on, I guess so. Yep. Yep. And nothing. Well, a stun, but. Three ones and a two. Always good injury dice to see <laughs> when it's your team. Of all the things to snake, I guess that's a good one. <laughs> Definitely. They can, Saima, but this Underworld team doesn't really have those uh, developed goblins. Yeah, they don't have developed goblins. They don't have really a developed killer at all. No. Um, just the one claw mighty blow, and it's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, it is a special piece. It's like it started off being like, hey, Agi's a cool skill. <laughs> it's my first skill. And then developed from there. Yeah, I, I think he felt like he wanted to develop a, a sacker or something, going block into tackle. The guard is weird yes. for the rest of the way he's developed. I almost think maybe something like two heads or horns could have been useful there to uh, really accentuate his dodging ability. Mm. I mean, two heads means he dodges like AG5, right? And that's pretty huge. Yep. Guess he didn't want to take piling on because, you know, AV7 piling on. But then he took AV7 guard? That's. Odd. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I agree with not taking piling on on that player. It's kind of like a waste. Put him on the ground. Ooh, he finally finds a claw. Pow. And it's a big one, hello. <laughs> hello. I don't think you apple that, that's the movement 3-1. Yeah. I think his, his life has run its course. I think you're probably right, although he does have claw. Well, yeah, he doesn't apple no, that. No. When you're movement three, like only a fifty percent chance to save it, and there's gonna be more damage. I mean, it's not like you're gonna get rid of the claw quickly. Right. I think it was a smart choice to not hapo that. <laughs> Feels bad, but you know, yeah. the guy's been on crutches for a while now. <laughs> yeah. He can he can almost breathe a sigh of relief that he can now build up a new short blocker with hopefully less perms. It was just claw. And I mean this short team has five claw, well four claw now. Yeah. So it's not four like now. that was his only claw. <laughs> Yeah, that was like the the first maybe claw my blow yeah, hit first, on a uh, first knockdown rhythm. Yeah, most of them were all pushes. Kills it. That's a uh, a message as some other people would say. And I mean, a bunch of blockers are sort of stranded over on the uh, uh, LOS line. LOS line, line of scrimmage line. Now that makes sense. <laughs> oh. Goblin KOs himself. Doesn't want to be next to the uh, the Bull Centaur. Oh, tackle. And even with that Chorf blocker death, the Underworld are still three players down. Be surprised to see a uh, a foul on this mighty blow piece. I wouldn't be surprised to see a wizard coming out at some point, because he's not really doing a good job of being able to protect this ball if he tries to push forwards. And if he goes backwards to protect it, then maybe you just stall it out and don't even have to use your wizard. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, that was almost quad skulls, but he got the pow into the injury. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if this is just confirmation bias, but whenever you re-roll a dub skull, 
into a knockdown, it almost always like hurts the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I think you might be onto something there. The player's just so pissed that he had to use the reroll. <laughs> I mean, this is... That ball is not... That's a scary place for the ball right now. I it is. Like. The wrestle tackle is super close. There's no, like, front screen and off. And you only have four players there. I like the foul choice, though. Stun is alright. I mean, the bolt here is not an awful idea. Probably no fireball, because that's only four people you're hitting with the fireball. And yeah, I mean, fireball's an interesting choice. You do have, as long as one of the two bowls and maybe the chorf, if it's not the ball, if like two out of four go down, it's probably okay. Like, if both bowls go down, it's okay. If one of the bowls and the chorf goes down, it's okay. If the ball goes down, then that's the same thing as using a lightning bolt. Yeah, but what if no one goes down? Yeah, well, obviously, that's, that's always the risk when you take a fireball. There is no... The one thing that's, like, worse about fireballing is there's not any great, like, injury chances in there. Mm. They're all armor 9. Except right. for the carrier. Yeah. But he doesn't choose the wizard. I liked the turn for the wizard just because he did have the wrestle tackle in a good spot, and he had the Agi in a good spot, and he had the two ball carriers in a good spot. Mm -hmm. So maybe he could have, like, picked the ball up, got it out to the other one, ran it down the field and stuff, but... We're gonna push around a, uh... Oh, greed reroll. <laughs> I guess you basically might as well, although... No, no, you have to reroll that. You had three rerolls, and you weren't making any more dice rolls this turn. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that was, like, a guaranteed reroll. <laughs> didn't work, but it was a guaranteed reroll. Yeah, I guess moving those uh, last two players around doesn't really matter. Ooh, I don't that like is, that. Yeah, there that... is a Frenzy Ball on the pitch. Still has the movement to uh, undo his action, but that might be sketchy. Yeah, he does. There, yeah. he sees it. He sees the Frenzy. <laughs> well, a bunch of Underworld team actually... Uh decide to go claw into guard on trolls or not going tentacles first. It's far dirty. I feel like those like there's four skills you want on a troll. Like claw just feels so good, but I almost feel like you have to build the troll without claw. Yes. Early. It's uh I mean those four skills are Claw, guard, stand from tentacles, right? Yes. And then break tackle is an extra one. Like, there's a lot of skills on normals that are good for an underworld troll. Oh, yeah. Why it's such a good big guy. Bit of a based cage, but probably going to get away with it because the, the movement thrower is not... Yeah, even if he does get, like, this, double bounce. This could be a six-man fireball. That's true, actually. With some of his more important players in it. Wouldn't hate the fireball. Uh, well, I actually do. I always hate fireballs, so... I try to prefer lightning bolts, but... I did use a fireball in my game. Hey, the wizard. Uh, I, I mean, they, uh... is technically now outside of spoiler range. <laughs> Yeah, we had our games two days ago, was it? I don't remember. There's so many games going on, so it's like... It's a haze. <laughs> yeah, it's been a blur, because I've been casting a lot as well, and so have you. <laughs> Which I've is fun, trying. I mean, the casts have been awesome. Yeah, they're good. 58 games in one week is quite the endeavor. 
We have something like eight or nine games in like a six hour span today. Currently in the middle of it. Uh, yeah. Wow, well, yeah. The calendar is looking full. Hard to read. <laughs> yeah. So he hasn't moved a player yet, which means the wizard is currently being considered. debated. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is beyond considered. This is definitely debating <laughs> <laughs> level. Spending over a minute considering how it could go. And how I... many he needs for it to drop for it to be good. Might be the most important turn of his uh, of this game if he does decide to wizard. Oh yes, the wizard turn almost always ends up being the most important turn. But um, unless it fizzles, unless it fizzles, yeah, and then it's just sad. I'm still salty. <laughs> <laughs> nope. nope, we're gonna stand by and not use it. Perhaps saving it for overtime. I guess he figured he can't really get a scoring threat. So even if he does wizard, at best he prevents the score. Which isn't bad, but ideally you can counter score as well. I mean, preventing a score and going 0-0 zero, zero is almost like scoring yourself. It just forces you to have to... Uh play your half slow instead of being able to do whatever you want. You're still Underworld up against Chorfs. I think his offense might be difficult. Scary. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I guess you're sort of right. Uh, a four-man bench is pretty big, but his goblins have been... Uh, haven't really been I'll standing up back. to the punishment. I mean, Bomber won't come back, but he should be able to get some of them back. It'd be fine. Targeting the front bull, it looks like. Big dodge there off tackle. Energy is fine. Yeah, and then he's going to come in and blitz from next to the hobgoblins. Pow. And if this claw if this claw works, this could be really big. Nope. It does. Either it kills it or it does nothing, right? I was a little bit interested that he decided to not walk onto the ball there. Guess he's afraid think... of the re uh, retaliation. Yeah. He could be setting up for a wizard turn next turn. Just to prevent it. Yeah, and you might as well reroll again. You have two turns, two rerolls. Right. No reason to save it for a riot. And the thrower dodges at it. That's uh, expected. Yeah, I mean, he was. <laughs> There's a bingo card for that, but like. <laughs> you don't want to be standing next to a bunch of claw palm. Even if you are in armor 7. Well, especially if you're armor 7, because the claw is basically free. Yeah, claw palmed too. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the Palmer was going to be going anywhere else this turn. Because it's a tour. They're slow. I mean, this I might mean, not be the could easiest could see a Ballsy score. Blitz with the, chor the Claw Palmer onto the Troll, but... Yeah, I mean, you uh, you Blitz the Troll, and then you hit the um, Skaven Blitzer, and you score. You hit the 87. Oh yeah, no, he has to score this turn. Never mind. What are we talking about? Yeah. Maybe he'll go around through the uh, the right side. Yep, looks like that's what he's doing. It's a little harder, though. Because he's kind of in his way. Yeah, a bit. it's two GFIs now. Oh, god. Ooh, that's, that's going to need to be apoed. Yes, if you want to win this game, that's probably an apo. Although it's only a 50-50 to work. Yeah. That's, That's one of really his best bad. pieces, though. I th think he can eat it. Which he does. He has. He still has the movement extra arms guy. Which, while not as good, is still a decent player. We're going to double GFI for the score. He'll make it. 
it's not as good a player, but it's still like capable. It was a good defense. Um, he actually had to make Eldar roll some dice. The score was not yeah. guaranteed at, at all. And he still has a decent one turn chance here. Are there any good goblins for one turning, or is it nah. just generic? All KO rolls are great, so there's the thing. Looks like all goblins are uh, vanilla, more or less. And still 11 players on the pitch. But the bench is completely eaten. <laughs> yeah. And it's with his one good goblin, too. Out. Going for the setup to try and make the landing hard, which is a good idea. Yeah, good setup. Plenty of people uh, forget about the throw a teammate one turn. Now the problem with forgetting about the throw teammate one turn, or setting up for the throw teammate one turn sometimes, is that you also forget that they also have a movement 8 Skaven Thrower. So they can blitz through. Yeah, but it looks like the Skaven Thrower is going to be in the backfield. I'd like to see this blitzer really far forwards because you can just blitz one of these chores. It's a free and hit. And then throw it. Although it's going to be a one die, probably. Uh, you can throw a just goblin onto the sideline to base up um, Naomi Nietzsche. The claw palmer, too. That's like the most important one. You oh, can just blitz true. that guy. It's a G5, though, but it's worth it. Uh, is it? If you set up uh, your guy oh, on the no, line. Oh, no, they're uh, movement 6, not movement 5. I was thinking of halflings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you could like movement six a goblin onto the sideline, blitz it with say like a wrestle tackle or even your claw mighty blow, if you had put them up on the line. And then you would have been able to throw to that corner a little safer, as well as um, having a claw, a claw mighty blow hit onto the best blocker. Yep. Which I think I would have liked to see set up for. But... It is the downside to setting up this anti throw teammate type of setup. And it's a blitz. Yeesh. Also, blitz? how come the troll is so far back? Uh, cause the troll can move and throw. Can't he set up on the LOS and then move and throw? Yeah, he could. It's less dice. It doesn't really matter. Well, what it's a uh, one extra goblin. square. Yeah, but, like, you, you're limited on throwing from, like, um, you can only throw from one in front of the line anyways, because you have to throw a goblin that hasn't moved yet, and he can reach those spaces anyways, so he's fine where he is. I'm surprised and what we're going to see in. here is just going to mighty blow the goblin, yep. And now this troll can just walk up. Uh, oh no, the troll is movement 3. What? Okay, he can still do it. As long as he moves uh, the um, the non-two-heads goblin. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Out of the way. Oh, Oop, the goblin goes down. He does have a bench though, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so he does need to move that goblin out of the way. Because uh, of the movement 3 on the uh, troll. You can pick up with the sure hands as well, and hand off to the two heads goblin. No GFI is even needed. Yep. Cat troll. Is good. Ooh, very good to get the cat troll. Because this means you can save your reroll for the hardest part of the, uh, the throw. 
Who's the goblin? The, um, the landing. Oh, he's not stupid. Probably aiming the third teammate at this point. Hasn't blitzed. Ooh. Has to re rolls, re -rolls through it. loner. <laughs> it's the chalk oh! square on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I mean, if you're gonna miss, you miss like that, right? Right. <laughs> oh, stunty one turns are the greatest. Nailed the guy. Too bad I didn't kill him. That would have been perfect. <sighs> Looks like this one is going to overtime, however. I don't really see the chores scoring twice here. The underworld, yeah. Or the underworld, yeah. Well, they still have the wizard. So actually, for some reason, I didn't think yeah. they had the wizard. But... Yeah, they still have their wizard, so they could score twice, but it's gonna be difficult. Like, do, do you want to risk going for the fast score and then using your wizard? What if it doesn't work, etc.? Or do you want to take this to overtime holding your wizard and then just have backup just in case you don't win the toss? Can't help but feel like the two turn score might be a little bit dicey. But then again, a uh, drawn out half might mean the uh, underworld sustained some serious casualties. Oh, alright. I don't think the riot hurts either team. I think actually, if anything, it helps the underworld a bit. Yes, because it means if they uh, score quickly, then it's harder for the Chorps to counter-score. I mean, basically, Thessa, he had 5 Claw to begin with. It's down to 4 now that he's killed one, but... Oh no, one in nine. That's the first reroll burned. Which is not good in this format. <laughs> nope. I mean, I honestly think you would have eaten that. Not like the chores are gonna put it on any backline pressure. What else are you gonna do this turn? I mean, I guess there's a claw my glow hit, but. I didn't like the ordering. He could have hit the uh, the DP hobgoblin in the middle with wrestle before. He wants to uh, troll hit that player. Well, if you want to troll hit that player, then you should have a I three die. Just moves over the goblin. Yeah. And then why is your wrestle tackle in a spot where he can't make a hit? I don't know. Yep, going in for the uh, three die. It's the pal. Not even a break. Is that a blitz going to be onto the hobgoblin? That's surprising.
with the wrestle tackle? Has to be. You think the uh, mighty blow claw hit on the um, turf blocker would be more valuable, especially considering the niggle? Yeah. Decent targets here for the Chorfs. Um, take a pick from which lineman you want to hit. Do it with the ball with tackle. Yeah. Nail a whole bunch of. Oh, yeah, just, just palm it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just palm it instead. That works. Land your Chorfs onto a whole bunch of goblins. No, not armor break, but of course we see the piling on. Injures it. Oh, and that's a movement bust. We reroll that one, and he comes back. Yikes. This guy's gained at least two cats this game, and is leveling because of it. Oh no. Jump up next, probably. <laughs> if he rolls a double. Which he will. Probably just more guard if he doesn't. Likely. Which is also just as scary, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, only on a the, stun. Uh, home goblin. Almost looks like he's uh, luring the underworld. Um, trying to tempt them oh. to come down the middle lane. Yeah, but I think he won't take it. I think he'll just, you know, say, Ooh, is that a, is that a claw mighty blow blitz on a chorf blocker? <laughs> <laughs> he had his pick of either the guard one or the niggled one. I probably would have went for the niggled one, but... Doesn't really change anything. He can block no, the I definitely would one. went for the niggled one on the right just yeah. because it would have freed two goblins up to then potentially foul the uh, Palmer. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. Although, well, he can still block it off. Just yeah, yeah, you can still block it off with goblins. So. so maybe just going for the extra hit was nice. And he's getting three hits this turn, which is more than most people give up. It's so one nine. You can down. eat that yep. with the wrestle. <laughs> yeah, that Skaven lineman actually leveled. What just levels this game? I mean, that's perhaps understandable, Luke. I mean, look at his skill right here. It's AV7. You can hit this with the two heads and then swing the non two heads around. No, we'll or just not. go with the non two heads. Less assists on the foul. Uh, I think it's the same amount of assists. I was just was going to assist with that guy rather than the other one that's at five. Oh, looks like he isn't even fouling. Uh, I might be bringing the troll over instead of the goblin. Oh, no, we're going to... Try and push up this left hand side instead. You say left hand side? I guess we're uh, watching the wrong perspectives. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't looking at what you are. You on the other side? <laughs> yeah, I don't usually switch perspectives because it's okay, easier to that's keep fine. track. But... I, can, I can follow you. I mean, if the if the chat wants me to switch perspectives, I guess I will. But it's just a thing I do, so it's not. <laughs> it was just a habit. <laughs> Everyone has their own thing they like with the camera, right? Except for the uh, Blood Bowl Two camera, no one uses that. <laughs> True.
It looks like he is advancing over to the right hand side ish of the pitch. Not weird considering that most of the Chorf team is on the left hand side. They can move over though. Especially now that they aren't bogged down by the uh, Mundo 3 piece. Just blitzing the uh, rookie goblin. Injuring it again. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, Mighty Blow versus Stunty. Like, this is your goal as the uh, the short player. Just keep hitting the squishy things, and eventually there won't be any players left. Yeah, but usually you don't see this many injuries. Also, basing the claw Mighty Blow there. That's brave. It's brave, but he's also in the ball. Hmm. You might be able to put even more players in there just to make it really hard to get a good hit with the uh, claw. Probably what's his trying. This is the all-in, win-the-game type of play here. Everyone in the mixer. Base city. Oh, the time for screening is over. Yeah. The time for murder underworld is here. Well, to be fair, he's done pretty well so far. Although we're, we're still keeping safety torque back. Of course. Because <laughs> it wouldn't be the Rebel playoffs without memes. <laughs> oh, starts off with the one die, I guess the skull. That's going to make the uh, start. carrier dodge <laughs> real sketchy. <laughs> so, yeah. 3 plus right there. Yeah. Failing you're it. Not, you're not blitzing you the game. This. Oh, well, it's going to be too hard. That I mean, being said, if he puts the goblin around the back, you can actually just blitz with the ball carrier on the bull and then dodge off of the hobgoblin without tackle. The other bull doesn't have guard, so you use the lineman to mark the other bull. Then you bring in the goblin and you have a 2 die with the killer. Or not. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the... Oh, there's a... Oh! There's oh, a Hobgoblin okay. hiding there. I didn't even see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hobgoblin behind the Bull Centaur's face. Dies. No longer behind the Bull Centaur. Uh... And the ball's free now. So that's actually a really nice chain push. Some serious injuries here. I mean... The problem is that there's still two bulls on the field, and you can't really outrun the bulls. So you have to screen off from them. The only way right. to do that is to go backwards, though. Oh, and you're, uh... Yeah, I think the whole goblin. It's a push. Doesn't get him. The troll doesn't have a buddy. No, he doesn't. He's just standing there. <laughs> Can't activate him. I do doubt you would want to activate him either way. I mean, failing that very stupid would be disastrous. Yes. Yes. And the ball is definitely not safe where it is right now. No, although I doubt there's very many places on the pitch that it would be safe. Well, I mean, like, it's just getting surfed. That's not much better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fail dodge. Chaos himself. Uh, um, this game's over. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very simple bull blitz right now. Yeah, this is just a free two dice on... Free quad dice on the ball. With reroll, that's six dice. So obviously, what you do is roll random dice, dice over on the other side of the pitch because, <laughs> yeah, you know, kills him. Clearly, because when you have six dice on the ball for free, <laughs> you're gonna roll some more dice first. It's not even like a three dice or anything. It's just straight two plus uh, two die. Now he goes for the ball. Double pile. Oh, 
didn't break the armor, so I guess there's a chance that they can get the ball back. It's not a great one. Yeah, not a great one. Oh, there's another injury. Let's see, dead goblin. He just leveled as well. He leveled off of the uh, hobgoblin kill. It's a lot of permanents coming out recently. Got the the underworld cas box. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sight. And there it goes, another one. I mean, like, we're not even talking about stunties at this point. Like, that's an 11 into an 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something, something that would have killed a tree. Or MNG'd one. Yeah, without without needing Mighty Blow or Claw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Anyone, any, any player hitting a tree would have MNG'd it. Oh, man. Could try to hit this troll down. Uh, get another hit onto the blitzer afterwards. Could just roll safety chorf into position two. Yeah, I mean the underworld might make a three plus dodge, three plus pickup, three plus dodge, into like a handoff. Oh, that's <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like I'd do it. I mean, against Claw Mighty Blow? That's real scary. He doesn't have a buddy, so... He has a wizard. Like, we shouldn't forget that. I think yes, you he has a wizard. He also has four players. Here's the play, right? You... Bolt take, the bull? You bolt the bull. Then with the Skaven line room, right? Line you dodge and blitz yes. the Hobgoblin? Yeah, I see up, it. Hand off. Hand off to the blitzer and then potato. And you run as hard as you can. Yep, there's the bolt. Oh. Doesn't the kill bolt it. Doesn't kill it. <laughs> I always love when the bolt, you get that sound of the death after it. It's so, so satisfying. You say satisfying, but that sound is actually like. Alright, we it just does something to dodge. me. Oh. Well, no, oh, it's, no it's tackle. Got tackle. It's got tackle. Oh, he did 1-9, never mind. Okay, we won the 9 dodge anyway. <laughs> that was his chance. I guess maybe the better play was you just blitz with... No, that would have been... No. No, no, that was the right play. Yeah. Like, we had four players. Like, you had to have everything go right for you, so you might as well hope that you can make a 3-plus dodge, right? I mean, and even our play at the end was still going to be relying on uh, Naomi Nietzsche being able to, like, not knock down the Blitzer, right? Because yeah. I don't think he could have gotten out of range of it, even with max GFIs. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get there, which is... One square too short, yeah. or two squares too short, based on where Nietzsche was. Oh god. Ball. I feel like this blitzer is not going to be living. Well, he's stunned. He's no, fine. fine. For now, there's For now. a dirty player. Though I feel like the dirty player should be fouling the uh, wrestle tackle, not the uh, blitzer. Are you even fouling at this point? Like, it seems like BM. Oh, he fouls the movement up. Interesting choice. Yeah, let's foul his best player. And injure it. <laughs> well, it's only a badly hurt. Safe. <laughs> I mean, the foul was worth it. The, the player had a 5-plus uh, uh, uphill to surf the ball. That's not horrible, actually. No, it actually wasn't horrible. I've seen crazier plays. So technically, this lineman can go four, four, 
four, four, five. Okay, at that point, just go the other way. So six, five, five. No, you take the four, four, okay. four, three, whatever, right? No, because if you do the three out, then you don't have the... Um, I guess you go for the one die at that point. No, because it's still a half die. So you can't get um, enough range. You can do six five four four, or six five four three two two. Like, let's say he gets the ball to scatter. Who's gonna pick it up? The well, it scatters out of bounds. It goes down the field, and then the troll <laughs> with three movement runs up and somehow outspeeds these chores, which isn't gonna happen. <laughs> uh, well, he's going for it. He makes the first four plus. There's the four. Oh, here we okay, go. Now, oh, oh, there's another, another four. four. Another four? Come on. Come on, four, four, six. Four, four, five, <laughs> sorry. Four, four, five uphill, sir. Let's see it. Oh, there's there's four. another four. Okay. <laughs> through tackle, by the way, so he doesn't have a dodge reroll. That's another four. four. Five. Oh, oh he, he failed the last so one. So close. So close. <laughs> oh, I I love you, Spartacus. If you had made that, you would have instantly won every award for play of the playoffs. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it was a two into a six. If he made that last dodge, he would have. He would have served it because six and a three is a push, right? Yeah, so if that two was push. a, yeah. If that's oh, no, how we also have work. the GFI to consider, right? Right. Oh, he six the GFI. Oh no! If the GFI was rolled after the dodge instead of before, he would have made it. <laughs> Don't make me sad. If if Blood Bowl's ordering of operations was different, he would have made it. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, hand off he's to the try, He's trying. Yeah, no. I mean, there's only like sense. three skaven on the field. You might as well try to level up the thirteen out of sixteen dwarf. They're all like stunned, anyways, right? No, he yeah, can like... still pick up the ball. Yes. Okay. So, no. Oh, but he's running the. No, he's just running the garden so that he can get a blitz and try yeah. to kill this blitzer. We Oof. find a push. No, what you do now is you take that blitzer Run away. and you dodge through <laughs> every single tackle zone to try and get him on the ground. Now I'd just do GFIs away. Get out of range. Well, have fun getting your troll palmed. <laughs> and then fouled. <laughs> yeah, it has a regen, so... Oh, yeah, I'm surprised he chose to go from that angle. He could have gotten a better foul if he had come from the top angle. Survived. Well, finally on. Yeah, yeah it survived. So survived. Okay, Chorf moves up into scoring position. I'm going to try to hand him off to him again. Because again, like there's no difference between winning one nil or two nil, and difference between leveling up a dwarf locker or not is pretty big. Oh, gets the but ball. He got the ball, so that means he will level. Yep. Unless we uh, let this wrestle tackle make a five four GFI uphill. But I'm assuming that this hobgoblin is just going to walk over there and foul the wrestle tackle. Ooh, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, well, there is a chance, anyway. actually. Perhaps not to win, but... No, no, there's no chance to tie this game. But there's a chance to stop the, uh, the short from leveling, right? It only takes a 5+, plus, 4+, plus, 3+, plus uphill. GFI. Uphill. 5, 4, 3, 2, uphill. Nah, he doesn't uh, win this no, practical we're, snow. We're blitzing to try and kill the 54. Oh. 
That's also fine. Yeah. And, uh, that's GG to had a better Baldar. chance of killing than you did of stopping the other chorfs, so. If your goal was to get rid of a chorf, then I think that was actually a slightly better move. Of course, you get your Blitzer claw palmed for its trouble. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> just fantastic. Watch him kill it. Broken didn't need the mighty blow. Actually, did. did need the mighty blow. Doesn't pile on. Is that. Is that pity? Is that the pity no has, pile? Has to be. Well, GG to both coaches. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, they both made it a good game. Spartacus yep. held in for as long as he could, and then his players just started getting deleted, and he really had no ch chance after that. Right. thought he played a really well defense in the first half, too. Yeah, he did, actually. That was, to an extent, close. Oh, and it's the AV Busted Goblin against the MVP. <laughs> Classic. Um, well... I mean, at least they left their mark on the, uh, the Chorf team, right? They did. <laughs> they, uh, killed them. Yeah, kill, uh, kill two players. Uh, rookie Hobgoblin that probably won't be missed, but the, uh, Claw Guard, um, Movement 3 Chorf, while probably being recycled at some point, I mean, it's still still lost for the playoffs right yeah it is and he'll yeah. only be heading into the next game with five chorfs instead of six well, does he have money to replace it no idea uh, we'll find out next next week i guess yeah either way i'll um i'll send you guys over to another guy casting blood bowl 2 it's another challengers cup game thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you guys at some point perhaps Yes.